conducted the data collection on the PDA, you return to your office and connect the uh, PDA to your PC. Uh, from, from the uh, main menu of the study you're working with, in this case the press line, we're going to select import, import from PDA. It will bring up a list of all the data that is in the handheld device. We click on the one that we wish to import and click on the OK. A couple of seconds later, all the data has been brought into the sheet here. What we have here is a complete list of everything we saw during the time study. You can see the study name, the start time, the stop time. The stop time of one element is the start time of the next element. Um, the time internally is accurate to the nearest one thousandth of a minute. Here you can see where we changed the rating, it dropped down to 85, affecting the level time here. Here we increased it back up to 95. This is an activity where perhaps the uh, operator fumbled, so we wanted to suppress that one. Down here we've got, um, the, he was opening the press, then there was a delay while he talked to the supervisor, and then he went back to the press open again. The plus sign here, simply adds the time. This time would be added to this time to account for the interruption. Uh, in this example over here, in this particular activity, we wanted to capture additional data. And this is where we change the screen to caption, capture additional data relating to that uh, particular activity. So again, when, as the data is brought in, it's dumped into the raw data sheet. We return to the main menu and now we're ready to generate the reports. To generate the reports, we click on generate reports. Uh, any raw data you have will be listed at the top here. Here are the six standard reports that we give you with the package. We can click on the press line data here. If you had different subjects, you could change the subjects up here. You could also select specific studies from the top here. We can run the time study summary. We can optionally give it a name. I'll just call it study summary. You don't have to give it a name. If not, it will, you'll see in a moment here what it does. Click on the OK a few seconds later. It will completely summarize the study for you. Here are all your activities, the total time, the level time, which of course reflects the effect of any rating, the minimum, the maximum, the count, which affects the average time, and then the various times are broken down, value added, non-value added, and so forth. So this is our time study summary here. Go back to the main menu. Uh, second report we give you, observation cycles. This is equivalent to what you would do if you're doing it manually. You can see the different cycles we have here and the times have been recorded here. So if you're writing that out manually, this is how it might appear on your manual sheet. Uh, back to the generate reports. We can look specifically if you're interested in lean analysis. This will just isolate the value added, non-value added, and required non-value added time. Again, go back to the main menu. If you're interested in any delays you have, you've got a delay summary. Again, just isolating the delays for you here and showing the results in a little pie chart at the top here. If you take several studies, you might want to combine them to see what your overall accuracy is. Just like on the PDA, you can actually select different uh, accuracy. Obviously, if you only want to be 80% accurate, you don't need nearly as many observations as you need if you want to be 99% accurate. It's a fairly complex calculation. You can see it up here at the top here. It takes into account the number of uh, the range and the, and the spread and the average times that you have here uh, from the data you've already collected. The final one is the, uh, what we call the final standard. This is where you can apply, for instance, you can look at your different activities and you see how often they happen. So let's say we always do the reinforce, right? We always open the press. So I'm putting a one in here and it's extending the values over here. You always pour the data. Let's say you pack uh, one in every, you pack everything. Wait orders, you might do that 10% of the time. You can also add uh, like allowances. Let's say 15% PF and D, personal fatigue and delay can go in here. Now the important thing at this point is that everything here is formatted in Excel. You can see it's basically just standard Excel calculations happening here. This means that you can change the standard reports we give you or you can add your own. So, for instance, if I wanted to come in here and create a new study, a new uh, report, I'm going to say a new design. I'll just call it uh, uh, Demo Summary. All right. Now, the instructions, it starts out as a blank sheet. The instructions here tell you how, what to do, but it's really very simple. We'll just call it a Demo Time Study Summary. Uh, what we'll do is we'll make that uh, bold. And we'll make it 20 to make it look nice. And then we'll put in some data here. Let's say we want to put in a labor rate here. So we're going to have some calculations going on here. We're going to have activity. 
we're going to have the total time, we're going to have the average time, and we're going to have the cost. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this look nice here. So let's format the cells here. Just using the standard Excel functionality at this point. I'll do a little bit more than that. I'm going to make it uh, look nice by making it white background and make it bold here. And then we'll space the data out here to be a little bit nicer and easier to read here. Now the trick in this area is very simple. It's point number two here in the right. Double click on any cell to see the available data that can be inserted in that cell. So if I double click on this, this is all the data we have internal to the uh, time study here. So I'm just going to select the total time. Move it over. I want the average time. Right. Now we have the case where um, I'm going to get rid of these instructions here. We've got a formula here. The cost is actually going to be this uh, cell B. Let's make it, that's going to be a constant. B3 times this cell right here. Right. That's that's going to be our four. Oops, let's do it right. Equals this one multiplied by this here. Right, but we do want to make that a fixed uh, cell, so we use the uh, dollar signs here. Now, this is going to be a labor rate per hour. This is going to be the average time in minutes. So we want to divide it by 60 here so that we get the right calculation. Next thing we probably want to do is format the cells. Let's just say that we want the currency and we want to work to uh, three decimal places. So now we've formatted this now. I have a, now, remember, this is called our... Um, Demo summary. I'm going to click on the main menu now. I'm going to go back to my generate reports and notice my demo summary is now listed here. So I can now select the raw data, same raw data I was working with, click on the demo summary, and then click on the OK here. And it will now generate the uh, information for me. Notice there's no cost in here. So let's just say we're paying them $12.50 an hour. And now you're getting all the cost here. So this is an example how you can create your own reports very easily directly within Excel and add it to the, to the list of available reports that you have um, that come with the package.